Kickoff starts at 1.30 p.m. on Radio Disney Country 1110 a.m. World champion Los Angeles Lakers. The ESPN LA Lakers Radio, Radio Network. Network. The ESPN LA. World champion Lakers Radio Network. This is Lakers game day. Hi, it's LeBron here. Lakers basketball. Let's go. Let's go. Mission and time for the Lakers to make it back-to-back wins in San Antonio. It's the Lakers and the Spurs with former Lakers world champion Michael Thompson. Here's the voice of the Lakers, John Ireland. Good evening, Laker fans, and welcome. The Lakers in San Antonio trying to pull off a double. They beat the Spurs two nights ago on Wednesday. Tonight, they'll try and do it again. And Michael Thompson Wednesday was, by the Lakers' standards, pretty easy. 121-107. The Lakers now have the number one rated offense in the NBA, and they have the number one net rating in the NBA, which means they've won by more points in their wins than any other team. And it appears like this is a mismatch. The Lakers, when healthy, and only Alex Caruso is missing, well, Marcus Aldridge will not play for San Antonio, uh, especially when they shoot well. Yeah, that's the that's the key. Provide a tremendous mismatch for the Spurs, don't they? Yeah, that uh, that shooting last night, uh, the other night was ridiculous. Wednesday night, yeah. Uh, when a team can shoot fifty six percent overall for the game, fifty three from the, from three, forget about turnovers, forget about rebounding. You don't need it when you shoot that well because you're not gonna they're not gonna catch you. So the Lakers have been shooting great all season long. They're not going to shoot 56% for the season, of course, that well. But if they're going to have that kind of games every now and then, it doesn't matter what the other team does. When a team shoots that well, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, on Wednesday, LeBron became the first player ever to score in double figures for a 1,000 straight games. Michael Jordan is second on that list with 866. Kareem is third with 787. The thing that surprised me the most, is it Kareem went some games without scoring 10 points? You played with him for a long yeah, time. Well, I, don't I, I don't remember anything like yeah, that. Do you? I don't remember Kareem getting eight or nine points. You're right. I'm surprised. But, you know, it's amazing because you can sprain an ankle. And right. Not to sit out or, you know, to something like that. I remember history. Kareem punched Ken Benson yeah. and got thrown out of a yeah. game. Yeah. Maybe that ended his streak. I'm yeah, not sure. Amazing. But, but uh, LeBron on his birthday. You talked about the shooting. The Lakers shot. 56% yeah, that's from the field that's and 54% from three. They're 3-0 three and o this season when they shoot at least 50% from the field. It better be. <laughs> Prior to uh, the game on Wednesday, the Lakers own the league's highest single-game field goal percentage from their Christmas Day game against Dallas when they shot 56%. Wes Matthews finished with 18 points, 6 for 6 from three. Uh, he only played 22 minutes. People ask me, Michael, after the game on Wednesday, why didn't Taylor Horton Tucker play? And I think there's your answer. Wes Matthews was so yeah. hot, you couldn't take him out, yeah, right? They took him out anyway. You're right, but yeah, he he shot. Uh, he couldn't miss the other night. He only they should have they should have shot more threes. They should have kept looking for him. And a good player, no matter who it is, Wes Matthews or Taylor Horton Tucker, Uma, Caruso, no matter who it is, when a player is that hot. You got to keep feeding him until he uh, until he gets too full. Only two other players in Laker history shot at least six threes and made all of them. You want to take a guess at who? Only two others. Two others, both long retired. Kobe, correct. And Kobe he, did it uh, on January six, two thousand six. He went seven for seven from three. And the other one, I, I kind of think because every now and then he would get hot. So I'm going to guess Derek Fisher. Nick Van oh, Exel, Nick Van Exel. Yeah, wow. is the other one. He went 6 for 6 in November of uh, 1997. But that's pretty good, Wes Matthews, 6 yeah. for 6. And, Michael, the strange thing was, coming into that game on Wednesday, oh. Wes was 0 for 8 from 3. So now he's up to 43% for the season. In one game. And shooting 56% from the field for the season so far. Yeah. the uh, After five games. <laughs> we'll talk about the Spurs coming up. They are going to get some people back. Other people are still going to sit out. And we get Greg Popovich back on the bench after he was ejected in the second quarter and handed things off to Becky Hammond. We'll talk about all of those things right after you hear Michael Thompson's keys to the game. You're listening to Game Day on the ESPN LA World Champion Lakers Radio Network. <laughs> Well, 2020 has been a year, hasn't it? And through it all, through every moment, through every tough moment, through every change, 
we just want to say thank you. Thank you for sticking with us here in 2020 to 710 ESPN. It's not been easy for any of us, and we're so thankful to have you as our listeners. We're so thankful sports returned, and we're hopeful that 2021, for us, for sports, and for you, can be a whole heck of a lot better than 2020. Happy New Year from all of us here at 710 ESPN. Across our hospitals and care sites, from our ERs to our birth centers, at Dignity Health, every step we take is toward healthier days. Cleaning is even more stringent and frequent. Seating is further spaced apart. And behind every mask you see is a friendly face. Because we think that safety should extend beyond sanitizing and distancing to include understanding and peace of mind. There's never been a better time to get the care you need at Dignity Health. The Toyota Keys to the Game. Lakers basketball is presented by your Southern California Toyota dealers. We make it easy. Now with Lakers world champion Michael Thompson. The Toyota Keys to the Game. Well, what does it matter what the keys are when the Lakers can shoot 53% from three and 56% for the game? A team shoots like that and nobody's going to beat them. So do that again tonight, Lakers, and see see how easy that is to win games when you shoot that well. But in case they don't shoot 56 and 53% again, I guess it would be nice to cut down on the turnovers. They had 17 of those the last game. Knock that down to around 10 or 12 turnovers today, fellas. And the Laker fans showed up with 39 points last game. We need to hear another 35 to 40 bench points tonight. West, West Matthews was in rhythm like he was Dave Matthews from the Dave Matthews band. Will he or someone from the bench get hot again tonight? And then storm the Alamo like Santa Ana did. Uh, without the shooting, of course. to the game. Hi, this is KCP from Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers play here. Lakers basketball is presented by your Southern California Toyota dealers. We make it easy. This is LeBron here. Lakers basketball tonight. The Lakers, Lakers play here. here. Happy holidays, ESPN LA. Nick Cardin here from Puente Hills Toyota. There's only a few days left to take advantage of the great offers of Toyotathon. Make your very best deal from our huge selection of 2020 Camry, Corolla, Avalon, or Prius lineup and score big with 0.0 APR for up to 60 months. Whatever you do, shop us first because these offers end Monday, January 4th. Puente Hills Toyota truly is the house of yes. World champion Los Angeles Lakers basketball. The legacy of LeBron just keeps getting sweeter. The Lakers conquer the bubble. Three-pointer by LeBron. It's good! The finals MVP is LeBron James. Join LeBron and the Lake Show as they make the run for the repeat. Sunday, the Lakers visit Memphis. Cover starts at 2.45 p.m. Mason, you're listening to Lakers basketball on the home of the world champs, 710 ESPN. By the way, Mason and Ireland back on Monday, January the 4th. Can't wait to start a new year, 2021, right here on 710 ESPN. John Ireland, Michael Thompson back with you. We are moments away from Lakers and Spurs. Round two, the Lakers beat San Antonio on Wednesday. They'll play the second game in the series in Texas. Tomorrow they'll fly to Memphis, and we'll have a game for you on Sunday at 3 p.m., 3 p.m. That is going to be on Radio Disney because the Rams game will be on ESPN LA. So we'll, we'll mention that several times during the broadcast. But uh, we'll be on Radio Disney, 3 o'clock Sunday, Lakers-Memphis. Michael, this game today, the Spurs were led on Wednesday by DeJounte Murray, who had a career high, 29 points along with seven rebounds and seven assists. DeMar DeRozan at 23, Patty Mills 12, Lonnie Walker 11 for San Antonio. But the Lakers out-rebounded the Spurs 47-39 and were plus 12 from beyond the arc. If you're Greg Popovich, what are you telling you, your guys tonight for this rematch about what they need to do differently to maybe stay in this game against the Lakers? They have got to shoot a bunch of threes to try to keep pace with the Lakers. Maybe go out of there character a little bit more uh, Deshante Murray made made some the other night but uh, Patty Mills we know can shoot him 
But the Lakers are going to shoot, you know, 25 to 35 threes tonight. And the Spurs have got to make their share to try to stay, uh, stay close because if the Lakers do get hot from three and they shoot like in the 40, 41 percent, that's, shoot, that's shooting great from three. And the Spurs aren't putting up their share. They're going to have a hard time keeping up. Uh, the Spurs also made history when Greg Popovich was ejected for arguing with officials in the second quarter. Pop appointed Becky Hammond to replace him, making her the first woman ever to be a head coach in the NBA. Even though the Spurs lost, Hammond received congratulations from throughout the league, including tweets from Pau Gasol and Steph Curry. Both LeBron and Frank Vogel spoke very highly after the game of Hammond, with Vogel predicting she'll be a head coach in the NBA one day. Uh, Michael, you played in the NBA for a long time for some of the old disciplinarian coaches like Jack Ramsey and Pat Riley. Uh, Do you think in our lifetime we may see Becky Hammond or another woman get an opportunity to be a head coach in the NBA? Yeah, she'll get she'll get the first opportunity because she's put the time in. So somebody's going to give her. And by the interview. way, if you, in case you don't know, she was an, uh, a six-time All Star as a WNBA yeah, player. She, she knows game. the game. Oh, she knows the game. Uh, Nancy Lieberman knows the game. She's been on staffs before. All these ladies who are in the NBA know the game because they played the game at a high level. They don't have to play with guys to understand basketball. They understand the game. But uh, yeah, she's going to get an opportunity. She already had some. Uh, some coaching interviews last year. She just wasn't hired, but she'll definitely get a chance. Or uh, in the future, some other young lady comes along, they'll also get a chance. In 2016, Becky Hammond coached their Las Vegas Summer League team, and she won the title. She won the championship coaching the Spurs in, in the Vegas Summer League. So she's got experience. She's got experience winning. My favorite part about that story, Michael, was Hammond said after the game, she had no idea that she would be the one to replace Popovich if he ever got thrown out. And she said the way she found out was that uh, Popovich pointed a finger at her and said, you got, you, you're in charge, yeah. and walked off. And afterwards she said, uh, see, he treats us just like he treats you guys, the media. He, does, he tells us, gives us three words, and then you're on your own. Yeah. So uh, Becky will be on the bench again tonight, but Pop will be back as the head coach. Uh, Alex Caruso will miss his third straight game tonight. Uh, he was a late scratch for last week's home loss to Portland, uh, citing the league's COVID-19 health and safety protocols. What do the Lakers miss, Michael, when they don't have Caruso? guy who's uh, sort of a do-everything player for him, hustles, does all the dirty work. He's like uh, their version of Kirk Rambis, how Rambis used to be, uh, just out there just hustling and uh, being a uh, disru- disruptor on defense, knocking down the, okay, the, uh, the outside shot. Just a guy who coaches love to have on the floor. All right, coming up, starting lineups, tip-off, and all the play-by-play action. You've been listening to Game Day on the ESPN LA World Champion Lakers Radio Network. You're listening to Lakers Game Day. Getting closer to the Lakers. Lakers basketball presented by Wingstop, the official wings of the Los Angeles Lakers. Get exclusive Wingstop offers and win tickets on the Lakers app. Lakers basketball on the ESPN LA Lakers Radio Network. 2020 was easily the most difficult year in most of our lives. One of the few bright spots was this team, your Los Angeles Lakers, winning the NBA Finals. It is over in Orlando. In a year we all thought we wanted to forget. The Lakers give us something to remember forever. Their 17th NBA championship. Remember the good things and move past the bad on the first day of 2021. Happy New Year, Lake Show fans. You're listening to Lakers Spurs. Metro continues to strengthen cleaning on our buses and trains. And we've added service to help you maintain social distancing. A face covering is required for your essential trips. Learn more at metro.net slash we're here for you. Your city, your station, your Lakers. LeBron alley to Davis! Up the elevator and dumps it! This is 710 ESPN Los Angeles. Don't miss Lakers talk with Alan Slewa. Man, the depth that this Lakers team has and some of these offseason acquisitions that they've made. Let me say that Montrez Harrell and Dennis Schroeder, that's the real deal for the Lake Show. They're going to be active energy guys all season long. You're never going to have to worry about those two players. You're just not. They're going to come through for the Lakers no matter what. And we're going to hopefully see it on a consistent basis. It's Lakers Talk with Alan Sliwa. Monday at 7 p.m. On 710 ESPN. What can give you a competitive edge in today's red-hot housing market? Rocket can. That's because Rocket Mortgage.